Hi, my name's Rod Sumrich. I'm from Spinetics. I'm going to quick give you a very quick overview of the Spinetics Fusion on the Hypermedia Player HMP200 and HMP100. What we have on the screen is a webcam viewer, which is showing you output of a live screen coming off uh, a Fusion Media Player. And on the left, we have a standard web browser. In this case, this web browser is Firefox, but all of the things I'll show you are also applicable to uh, Chrome or Explorer or Safari. So Fusion will work on either a PC or a Macintosh or a Linux embedded system. On Firefox there is an application called DNSSD which allows you to go through to a device using the Bonjour service available on the player. There are similar plugins for many other browsers. This one will automatically identify the, Bonjour, the client and take me straight through to the web browser interface. The browser interface takes us to the control center of the media player. At this point you can do screen snapshot which will give you an output of the device at that moment, uh, tell you about the information on the device, give you information about how much storage is available, um, even giving you information about the log files. In the administration area you're also able to set up the config and configure the output and uh, network capability of the devices and further down you'll see there's a button called Fusion. When I select the Fusion module it takes me through to the interface which will enable or disable Fusion. Fusion can be enabled or disabled at will. There is no installation required. It comes as part of the firmware of the player. Once Fusion has been enabled it gives you a link which is can be saved as a shortcut um, and put into your web browser. Uh, this link is a straight connection through to the Fusion interface. Once you go to the Fusion interface, you're asked for a password. The default password for Fusion is admin and the username, default username is admin. You can select remember me and it will recall that on, this, on the browser that you're working on. When you hit the go key, it will automatically take you through to the interface. On the lower portion of the screen, you'll see that there are four shortcut menus, uh, active program, uh, most, most appropriate next action, uh, some tips and the latest news from our website. Along the top we have a number of menu options including a logo for Spinetics which will take you through to give you a screen snapshot. Again, a screen snapshot of the output of the device at that moment. And that is reasonably quick to update and quite reactive. The first thing we do on Fusion when we get to it would be to add some media. By selecting the media button on the top, you can add media. Adding media is quite straightforward and easy. I can simply select the media I wish to get. Um, in actual fact, in this case, I'm going to go through to my Fusion demo content and pick something like some Alaska images. So if I want to get a single image, I just double click that image and it will appear in the media. If I want to add multiple images, I can select a 7-zip file, zipping those files together as a single file. 7-zip is a free application available on the internet. Once those files have been brought in, they're automatically sorted into the different areas of the media, whether they be images, videos or hypermedia. Uh, videos come in as videos and can be previewed using the preview and hypermedia is content that comes from hypermedia director the spinetics content creation tool for the hypermedia players hypermedia is in the svg format scalable vector graphics which is an open standard there are many other tools on the market that will allow you to manage svg and create svg our, our tool is available with the players or purchasable separately so if we go back to our images, the first thing we may wish to do on the player is to build a playlist. A playlist is a sequence of images or files. By selecting New Playlist, we can click through and pick the files we want and drag them and drop them over on the left-hand side of the screen. Because we can use an Android or a um, iPad, these don't have double click. They don't have click and drag, so you can use the arrow button to put your media in and that's a quick way to add media. If I want to rearrange the order I can pick the media up and move it round 
as I need to. And there's one more file I want to add here. And another picture of the boat. And this gives us the information we want. I can set the duration of the media. Uh, for example, in this particular slide, I may want to have for seven seconds. And all the other media I might want to have for five seconds. So if I just select, uh, type in 05, that will put a global duration on all the other media with my seven second duration remaining. The next thing you'll want to do with a playlist is define a transition. So in this case, we're just going to define a fly from the left with a one second duration for the fly. When I hit apply and hit save, that will now save that and I'll call that Alaska. Once that's been saved, that's available in the unit to go into our program. So we've added the media, we've built a playlist, and now we want to publish that playlist and see it go out live to the player. So we go to Programs, select a new program that we're going to create. Across the top we have a number of different media types. So when I select Playlists, there's my Alaska file. I can simply add that to the, pl to the program. I may also want to add a video, such as an iPhone app advert, um, and maybe an image file, a uh, picture of the spinetics. So, and once again, I can simply drag and drop and arrange these items. I might want to put a seven second duration on that item. This item will play for its duration, as will the last item. Uh, we change the order slightly and hit save. So, again, giving it a name to keep things organized. Once I save that program, you'll see it appears on the bottom of the list and when I press the activate button almost immediately it'll appear on the output of the screen over on the right. So that's now playing the content that I gave it. You'll see that now the playlist is coming in and doing the slide from the left as I said. The other menu item here called slides allows us to create a template layout and populate that layout with images or playlists or video and add text and headings to that. So we have simple slides and we have RSS feeds. There are also advanced slides available. The slides come in what we call a style pack. The style packs are available from our website free of charge and many of our partners will also be able to offer these style packs either to be created for you specifically or they have libraries of these available to give you facilities that you need. So we're going to go and make a special offer today and the special offer will be a summer cruise in Alaska. So we go and grab our playlist of Alaska and I can either drop that directly into the window or drop it down onto the smaller window. So we go summer in Alaska and I made a small typographical, we add that and I can choose to fit the media in the window or I can keep its existing ratio. Uh, come and cruise with us this summer and see the uh, see Alaska as you have never seen it before. Come in and ask about what we can offer. So if I own a travel agent, I've quickly created this special offer and I've done it. The only thing I may want to do is put a price, 5999 and the other thing, uh, per cabin. So we can select that. As soon as I hit save, again it asks me about the name, Alaska Slides, and hit save. So I've now saved my template. It was very quick and very easy. And now when I go to my program, I can click the right button pointing to the right, which will open up the list of media. And I can now go to my slides, grab my Alaska slide, and drop that in on the top. As soon as I hit save, uh, almost immediately you'll see down on the right, the output of the device will start through on the Alaska cruise. And you can see that the slides that I created in the playlist and the pricing all pops up. I can have a clearer view of that click simply by clicking the uh, screen capture.
and as you can see that is up to date and working and it's going out live. If you look at the program menu you'll notice that we have a number of different programs so simply by selecting a different program it will change the content on the screen and be very and start playing that immediately. If I reset my Alaska slide you'll notice also when I edit there's an area on the top of the program edit called scheduling. If I want a particular piece of media to be played at a specific time, for example this uh, Alaska cruise I only want to advertise it uh, for one month, I can select to advertise from the 1st of September um, through to the 30th of September and only choose to advertise it from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. which means that only during those dates and those times it will display. I can even choose to select to only advertise it on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday and when I hit the save button that will now only appear in the time slots that I've told it to appear. Very flexible and very easy to manage content and when it appears. The other things we can do is currently the program content is full screen which means that the content is appearing across the entire screen as you can see. If I go to my settings menu we also have skins. Skins manage the layout of the screen and how the program appears on the screen. So if I decide to change the layout there are several skins that we have here in our standard pack plus there are many many other variants you can arrange. So when I enable this particular skin which is another full screen skin but across the bottom you'll see that we have um, some a clock and an RSS feed. I can select the RSS ticker here just by typing in the RSS location. I can pick the type of clock either 12 hour or 24 hour. I can pick the color that the clock will be and also the color that the RSS ticker will be. So for example I may want to choose to have a yellow RSS ticker simply by changing that color. Again I can pick the font that it will be shown in uh, and with or without borders. When I hit the save you'll notice that the screen is now showing an RSS feed with the ticker with the time and I can give you a larger shot of that as it's been changed with my yellow text and my purple clock. As you can see this is not ideal for this particular content because it's playing over the top of some of the screen content. So there are various other skins available such as this one here uh, which is called Dark Scheme. It has a reasonably dark background. Um, the background there are several to choose from in this particular pack. I like the teal floor. I can tell this uh, Alas Alaska Cruising Inc. So we've decided to make this the Alaska Cruising Inc. ship with a weather forecast for specific locations in Fahrenheit or Celsius and the duration for those to appear. I can also select the speed of the ticker so I want this one to move a little bit slower. Currently it's showing the Spinetics RSS feed from our website and we can also select the color of the font which I probably want to be a little bit brighter because of the dark background and maybe we'll make it um, more of a yellow color, a limey yellow. So when I hit OK and once I hit save that will then save onto the device and you can see that's changed here already and I can give you a clearer view of that doing a screen snapshot here. The other thing you'll notice is that the movement is quite smooth and the speed of the ticker can be controlled. These devices being the uh, image, the weather and the RSS and the clock are considered widgets. One of the other things that's also configurable on this particular slide is the logo on the top left corner. So if I wish to change that it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping the logo onto that skin from my library. You'll notice here that in the library I have um, a Spinetics logo or I can add a medical logo just by bringing that up and dropping that onto the location on the screen. Again when I hit the save button if you watch on the screen down here that will update in a moment as soon as that it has received the information which should be any moment now so there we have it. So if I do my screen snapshot you'll see the logo has been updated and the content is playing. Some of the other features in the settings that you've got to control Fusion are backups, being able to save the content that you have in the player down to a computer 
and restore it back at a later date. You can restore a backup that's been created on the device to take it back to a known state. And you can also load backups onto th other devices so you can have con the same content ac across multiple Fusion players. There's user management allowing password uh, password access for scheduling, editor or creator only or the administrator level giving you access to all the features and all of the configurations. Fusion style packs are loaded using the templates and the skins under the settings with the add button. Again as I explained before these templates and slides can be created by the Spinetics partners, premium partners who have undergone the pr training and have learned how to use this. It's possible for end users to purchase Hypermedia Director Pro and also have access to the creation of these templates and layouts. Under the My Settings tab you'll notice you also have the ability to change your passwords and select the language you wish to work in. That's most of the information you need about Fusion. Uh, thank you very much for spending the time and listening to this webinar presentation and I look forward to helping you if there's any requirements in the future please contact your local Spinetics partner if you need any additional information.